doing everything as far as being safe as, you know, in case you went out and stuff, you know, had a good time and stuff last night, you know, um, uh, me, myself, you know, I stayed home and stuff, you know, I did my hair over I had to go get some black dye and stuff, you know, um, to dye my hair black, black, um, I, I thought, I wanted to go back to the blonde, you know, the short hair and everything, but for some reason, For some reason, the blonde hair, I guess I'm kind of over it. For some reason, the blonde hair, I guess I'm a little bit over it and stuff. Anyway, the man said, what's up, people? Um, I want to talk about something. You know what I noticed? You know, um, kind of besides this here. You know what I noticed? A lot of, a lot of celebrities that are getting to the top, you know, you know how the, the um, you you get in your grind and stuff, you know, in order to become a celebrity and stuff, and you watch a lot of them, you know, get out there and everything as far as on their grind, you know. And the thing about it is that it's the, it's the thirst to get to the top, and you watch all these people online, you know, in reference to, you know, trying to, um, you know, get their dreams and everything that goes and stuff out there you know, as far as, you know, I guess whatever they're trying to achieve as far as singer, journalism, actor, model, dancer, whatever the case may be. What I notice is that a lot of them, once they reach the top, they seem to be so unhappy. You know, it is so sad because it's like they strive so hard and you know like I know when it comes down to this type of business or within anything you try to do as far as, you know, even in the corporate world or business, whatever case may be. When you're trying to do that type of stuff, it's, it's, it's a struggle. It doesn't quite come easy to you. And you have to pay a lot of dues, as they say. And then, you know, you go through a lot of um, betrayal. Your friends backstab you. Um, somebody trying to get in contact with you or reference to something that they wanted to use you for, like a commercial or modeling ad or something. And it was um, sabotaged by probably what, one of your friends or somebody they didn't want you to. You know, get to the level that you've been trying to get to as far as friends letting you down, as far as sabotaging your career. Now, the thing that gets me is that what I keep noticing that when it comes down to a lot of celebrities who finally get there, they seem so unhappy. You know, I was watching a documentary reference to Heath Ledger, you know, one who did the Unbroke Back Mountain and stuff. He was unhappy. Whitney Houston, she, she finally got to the um, status she wanted to get to, you know, she's finally got over the lump of them being mean to her. She was unhappy, she was on drugs. Michael Jackson, he was unhappy. Prince, unhappy. Um, it's a lot of them, you know, and it's sad because it's like, you know, and I, I'm sure you could think of some of the ones I'm probably forgetting. Lindsay Lohan, um, Justin Bieber, he just got out there in the game, and he's so unhappy to be so young, and um, there's a lot of them out there. You know, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you know what I'm saying? They get all the way to the top and stuff, and it's like they're so unhappy. And then when you finally get to the top, they start talking about this Illuminati stuff. you have to sacrifice and you know and the thing about it there was like it's Illuminati and the sad part about it people believe it you know it's so amazing um, how people just believe anything that's negative versus the positive you know and even I have been um, attacked and here it is over with the bottom <laughs> you know and the thing about it is that you know it's like it's almost as if it's a club out here to just shine on to show someone who you hate today, 
show someone you could break them down. Show someone today that you are the person that's going to try to destroy them. And you know, and you know, when you get to the top of stuff, you have to try to build yourself around a positive following. And then the following that you have that's around your circle could be the one to betray you as well. You know, it just amazes me because it's like, why even bother? You know, why bother to go through so much just to be destroyed? You know, I don't know. It just seems so sad, you know. And, and it's like Chris Brown, Rihanna, Kanye West. It's tons of them. You know, they just don't seem happy to me. For to be on the top, you know, guess things that always shine is not always glimmering. Tyra Banks, just all of them, they just don't seem happy. They just don't seem happy. You know, it's like once they got there, it's nothing like they thought. And, you know, people just dogging you. And now you go online, they dog you. and. You know, and, and I watch a lot of celebrities try so hard to get to where they want to get to, to just be bashed. You know, and it's like, why bother? You know, have you ever noticed that? I just want to ask you that question. That's why I found it to be very amazing. Have you ever noticed that some of the celebrities finally get to the top, that they have to use drugs and stuff to try to survive because they can't mentally make it? And, you know, and it's like, you can't trust anybody. Your friends are betraying you. They're telling stories about you. and. You know, uh, it's horrible. It's like a never ending thing. It never ends. It never ends. You know, I don't know. But I just want to know, I just want to know if you notice that, that a lot of people finally get to the set if they went to a life, they're so unhappy. It's like it's nothing like they thought. It's nothing. Sad. Sad. Can't even leave out the house anymore. But paparazzi went up on you trying to say mean things. You said get the bad shot. They could put it out and put a fake storyline behind it. And people believe it. You got Amber Rose out there. She's trying to do her thing. And yet still they're attacking her as well. She's going to come up. The new woman who did the Ghostbusters. They're attacking her left and right. The hate is real. But have you ever noticed that? That the people who finally get across. You know, the child to get to the top, they're being attacked. And you notice how many people sign on that believe it. Anyway, it's horrible. To me, it's like, why bother? Why bother? You know, and it's funny because, well, it's not funny, but, you know, we get playing about five or ten people, but we're talking about millions of people just hating you. Just hate you. Hate you. Just hate you. Take out a blog and just put up something just to hate you. Just hate you. I think it's more disappointing when <sighs> it's people that's from your own community. Speaking of that, Caitlyn Jenner, they said her show has been canceled. Who saw that coming? You know, it's funny that someone was on my page and they was talking about, oh, that's one of them shims. I'm like, do you know what page you're on? You're calling one of us a shim. You know, even though I may not agree with Caitlyn, but I have to respect who she is as my sister. I may not like her choices. I may not like her as what she's done, but it's still a part of me because when you're saying those negative comments about her, that's the same thing I know you feel about me as well. I may not agree with her. Hell, I may not like her. But I mean, I, when it comes down to name calling of her, and then listen to how far in depth you go on her, somewhere along the line it crosses over to being me as well. Because all the things you're saying is basically about me as well. You know, and the thing about her show got canceled allegedly. So, you know, and the sad part about it is that she transitioned, but her mind still stay, remained the same. She didn't see the issues. She didn't see the struggles. She didn't go through what we were going through. And I don't even think she even cared. I just think it was something to do and it was fun. It's fun. Anyway, 
I just wanted to ask you that question. Did you notice that a lot of celebrities, when they finally get to the top, that they are so happy, I'm sorry, so unhappy, and they're on drugs very bad. You know, sad. Anyway, I just wanted to see if you know we're on the same page. Anyway, I just wanted to say happy Sunday. And I didn't make a video yesterday. I just wanted to let you know I love you and um, hope you're being strong. And, you know, I have to let you know that because I want to make sure my people are still out there. You know, I got to check up on you. Make sure you're still late. <coughs> you ain't trying to leave me. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I just wanted to know I love you and be safe and enjoy your Sunday, okay? Until we meet again.